Thank you so much. So here's a quick tutorial on how I color and blend an Autodesk sketchbook. Let's do a quick overview of my brushes. I use a combination of these brushes, this paintbrush tool for filling in large areas such as skin. I use a tattoo anchor to do the similar thing but in like smaller details and stuff. And I, the wispy brush is my main shading brush. I use it with a combination of this blending brush to blend any hard, harsh edges. And I love using the different airbrushes, which is soft airbrush for blushes. And I use the hard airbrush for small details and glows. So let me show you how they work. Let's start filling our main color with the big paintbrush tool. This is the method on how I shade skin, but I normally fill in the color for the hair as well. See the tattoo anchor lets me get these kind of wispy lines for like small details that I just love so much. I'm switching over to the soft airbrush right here for some soft washes in the hair because I want it to be a gradient. And now I'll start shading with the wispy brush I bring it up. So I did my first round of light shading, now I'm going to do another layer underneath that. I end up blending it towards the end, but I use a lighter color just to go back in. And I don't know if you guys can see, just this brush just blends in so well. Now after having another layer of shading, I'm going to make another layer in between both of those and just go straight into the reds and use my soft airbrush for the blushes and that will bring it to life, girl. Mm -hmm. For that I normally do like the side cheek, a little bit of the nose, but like more like soft and like airbrush like that to bring a little bit of more color and then I go, I just play around a lot and just kind of building this up until I get to the highlights. Right now on third layer of shading, just building up around the face and adding in the different details. Blend edge of my liner to make it look more painterly. Adding the glow and then you'll be done.